Top of the morning, friends and family. How you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? Not gonna waste any of your time. We've got top five favorite ball pythons here at Triple B. Part two. I asked for you guys to vote. Let me know if you wanted part two of this video. And you voted. Let's do it. This here is Cindy. She's an Enchi Firefly Clown ball python. And Cindy is the second snake that we ever produced here at Triple B. And I was almost gonna let Brian Gundy get her, and he was super interested, and then I proceeded to price her at a place where Brian was like, you just keep her, bud. And I was like, like sorry, B, sorry, B, but that's, that's what I did, and that's why she's still here. She's produced a couple of phenomenal clutches for us, and well, she'll be producing more the way she's going. Beautiful snake, love clown. Clown is one of my favorite snakes ever. You guys probably wonder what's going on with the glass. The, gla the glasses are blue light blocking glasses, so there's gonna be absolutely no blue light anywhere in this video. So Firefly is a pastel fire, for those of you guys that don't know. You know, there's all kinds of different, hundreds of morphs out there of ball pythons and with thousands and um, thousands of combos that are possible. And this is the clown version of the Firefly Enchi. If you've seen, I wish I had a Firefly Enchi just, oh, you know what? This is an Enchi Firefly 100% double heck clown pied female. So this is kind of what it looks like without clown. And of course, younger, you know, this snake is, is younger. And Cindy, where are you going? Cindy is the offspring of our snakes, Lucy and Ricky. Ricky being the pastel NG clown and Lucy being a fire clown. Check this little comparison out. Do a little happy lip a dee -bee -dee -bee -bee. Oh, and don't forget to hit the like button so we can see just how many likes we can get in this video. Supposedly, it helps the channel and helps the video do better. So I'm curious, whoa, 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 whoa. Doesn't necessarily help the snakes do better, but let's see. Let's see how many likes we can get on this video and see if it actually accumulates into being something that means more of something. It's just an experiment. Click it, like it, smack it, hike it, flick it, flick it, flick it. I should probably go back to sleep. <laughs> doesn't count in part five. I just wanted to show you guys what Enchi Firefly looked like without the recessive gene of clown added into it. Okay, is that cool with you? It's cool with me, it's cool with you. We cool, we good? Great, these are sisters. This is sugar and spice. Spice and sugar are both Enchi cinnamon, 100% het sunset. Oh, you know what? They're not 100% het sunset, they just look like it. They're 66% het sunset ball pythons. But look at how beautiful. And you see why I named Sugar Sugar? Cause she looks like she's got sugar in her. Does she not? You know, the, the calico or sugar gene in ball pythons? It's got that like white coming up the sides. Looks just like a, a sugar or calico, doesn't it? Doesn't it? This trips me out right here. I think it's super cool. I'm really happy with how it looks. I'm happy with how these snakes act. I'm happy with how these snakes are. These are phenomenal holdbacks. I'm, I'm such a, guy that doesn't keep so many holdbacks. I'm like the opposite of a guy that keeps all of his snakes that he produces. I'm like the opposite of that. I'm fresh off of the Arlington Reptile Show. If you missed that video, you should go click this link right up here. It was a great time. I'm just flying high off getting to meet everybody and getting to hang out with everybody. It was a good time. And I, I can't wait to go to another reptile show, which may be Schomburg, which is the replacement for the Tinley Show. I'm like so close on the fence and I found out that it's the same, it's Father's Day weekend. So I'm like, why did it have to be that weekend? I was like 98% certain I'm going and now I'm kind of like, I'm trying to figure it out. Can we all agree that sugar and spice, sorry, have really got it going on. Handling two at the same time is not well ill-advised, but ah, they're just so beautiful. I'm so glad we produced these snakes. You know, I used to think that hashing out snakes was a thing for scientists and people with like PhDs. There was a time in my life when I definitely thought that I was like, well, that's, I'm not gonna do that because that's 
I'm not planning to be a scientist. And I'm still not a scientist. But I got snakes. Damn, are we already over halfway through this video? Because you've seen three snakes already. We only got five. Maybe I'll show you a bonus snake. You guys want to see a bonus snake? Leave a comment down below if you want to see a bonus snake. Real quick. Comment down below. Bonus snake. Comment bonus snake. Or else the bonus snake's going to happen. You got to comment it quick. Just bonus snake. Go down there. Bonus snake. First person to comment bonus snake down below. Maybe you'll get a bonus snake. Like in person. Look at this eeny meeny little teeny yellow polka dot bikini of a snake. This is an Enchi Cinnamon Sunset. And Lord Almighty, look at that snake. That's, that is the epitome of a ball python right now. There's lots of uh, snake eating snakes in Africa, like, I don't know, cobras and such. And the thing about a snake is it really likes to swallow things head first. So I think the theory is that if the snake is all balled up like that, and it can't get to the head, it's just gonna give up on it eventually. Like, well, I can't eat that. I can't get to the head. So this snake, we just produced over here, our first clutch that was from a visual sunset, and she is not coming out of her shell. But she has also not had her first meal. She is one I was potentially planning to keep back, but I, Got a real expensive uh, dentist appointment coming up, so I'm thinking that I just may make her available instead so that I can keep my teeth in my face and all that good fun stuff instead of just completely losing my teeth to... Uh, it's, it's genetics, right? It's genetics. Like, my mom always apologizes for my teeth because she had bad teeth. Like, I brush my teeth, I floss regularly, and I still have gotten numerous cavities over the years. My wife never flossed a day in her entire life and yet somehow never had a cavity either. It's genetics. Anyway, Enchi Cinnamon Sunset looking absolutely phenomenal. And once uh, she has a few meals, I'm probably gonna put her up there so that I can keep my teeth. It's gonna be about a month and a half before you can find out. Or you can just get on a list right now, I don't know. Unless, we're, I'm just making this up as I go along. This snake here, when I first got it, I made everybody guess in the comments down below what exactly this snake was, genetically speaking. Got it from Justin Kabilka earlier last summer. And I still haven't said exactly what it is. Some people came really close to guessing. I actually picked out a name for this guy a while back and never wrote it down anywhere. And it just left my brain. It's gone. When I thought of it, I was like, that's the perfect name. And now I don't remember what it is, but <laughs> Scuba Steve, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anymore. You wanna know what it is? Is it, about, is it time? Even though he's not ready to breed yet, and he has been smashing meals like a champ. Obviously a quality snake coming from the likes of Justin Kabilka. But, uh, I just... Okay. GHI, Red Stripe, Spot Nose, Enchi, Clown. Pretty sure that's what it is. <laughs> so the GHI, you can kind of tell because of all the like tiger striping coming across the top or the attempt of the, the things to band across the top where, but the end she's reducing it so much that you can't complete the banding across the top because of the reduced amount of the end she. The red stripe, you can see that very heavy amount of red blushing coming up inside of the dark part of the pattern. Uh, the clown is just, you know, it's, it's clown. If you don't know what a clown ball python looks like, well, the clown is a very strong recessive gene. You know, often the pattern disappears around the eyes. And the reason clown was named clown in the first place because they had that little teardrop that comes down off the eye. And so um, they named it clown. I think it was TSK, actually, that named it clown. And maybe it produced the first clown in the States or anywhere. I should know this stuff, like, without having to think about it. And the spot nose, I just was like, Justin, if you say there's spot nose in there, I believe you. Is that really Snake 5 already? I feel like we just started this video. 
Did you guys comment down below for the bonus snake? You did? <laughs> well, I guess that means it's time for bonus snake. Matrix Blood Python, one-eyed Blood Python. Dude is doing fantastic eating and a champion and just doing well. He's got a funny little face because of that one eye, but he's, he's doing well with handling, he's doing well with eating, he's doing well with being the best one-eyed version of a Matrix Blood Python you could ever ask for. And that just tickles my heart and makes it laugh inside. Outside, you can't see it, but inside my heart, it's tickled and pickled. There he is, just sitting there, looking at my face like, hey dude, I might only have one eye, but I still see you. I'm ready, I'm ready for whatever you're gonna bring at me. Look, he's ready, he's gonna, he'll, he's ready to do something. What are you ready for, bud? You wanna get a little closer? It's like, no, that's not the idea. Watch, he's gonna back up now. You gonna back up if I move you closer? He's like, no, that's cool, it's cool, bro, I see you. All right, folks, that's going to do it for us today. Short, sweet, top five favorite ball pythons, plus a bonus snake. Thank you for tuning in today. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Uh, check out all the links below for things and stuff. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button for our social experiment and to tickle my heart. And we'll see you on Monday with I have absolutely no idea what. But it's probably going to be cool, whatever it is. So make sure you tune in subscribe, and do all the things that I don't usually tell you to do, but I probably should. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Aloha.